Hey, this is Paxton. Today is July 4th. Happy Independence Day. Day 5 of my Black Swallow Tail uh, Chrysalis. Over here, these used to be uh, hands. Um, as you can see uh, from this chrysalis, it is not infected. It's held on by thin silk. And it seems to be really strong. As you can see from this green colored texture, it is blended in with the parsley plant to avoid predators. Also from what it eats, um, as it affects with the color and the texture of the chrysalis stage. As you can see, this area right here um, where the abdomen and the tail it is perfectly tight there's no bulge area area there so it means it's not infected which is a great sign that it's gonna become a mature a mature swallowtail butterfly when it comes out of the chrysalis so you want to keep it well protected um, even if it's camouflage um, you had to watch out that wasps or little bugs will lay eggs on this shell. You want to be uh, very careful uh, with this chrysalis. You want to make sure it's been kept in a nice protected area. Like what I use is a, um, a plastic Tupperware with a saran wrap with holes and uh, put to protect it from other insects trying to invade while that it's in this chrysalis form. So I'm just trying to rotate the best I can. You will notice that it's not moving even if I were to use this um, this Y tie to touch it. It's really solid. Over here, you would notice that it used to have these little holes, uh, but now it's dried up. There used to be holes around this area where it sheds its skin. It allows the air to push through its um, abdomen. And as it moves downwards through the skin, it pushes itself up with the air escaping outwards this way so that it can push the skin down eventually it would attach its new tail um, from the old tail uh, and it would stick this on while this gets pushed away from the bottom where the skin was all the way down now these two hands, these, these used to be hands. I don't know what they are now. But over here at the bottom, this used to be the Ostomerium, uh, where it uses its defense mechanism, uh, where it forms this little Y shape um, to repel other, other, other predators from, uh, from trying to eat it. Um, it would give off this foul smelling odor. Um, and that's what it does as a defense mechanism. Now it becomes a hard uh, horn shell. You see what's really fascinating about this, uh, this chrysalis is that um, this caterpillar knows exactly uh, what to prepare. Um, meaning that it knows how to uh, create this strand of, of um, of silk and it knows how much silk he wants to put in it in order to secure its whole fat body around and goes inside through that through that silk just so that it can hang itself off from this dead dead uh, twig um, to secure itself as it becomes to this stage um, the way I know um, about what's inside this this chrysalis is that it's very liquid 
form with a lot of proteins that, that came from the parsley plant and all those nutrients are building inside um, is building up into this layer of, of um, exoskeleton um, to form a, a black swallowtail butterfly. You will notice that this right here is forming its wing from this side. The chrysalis that I have is measuring at one and a quarter inches in length. It still retains its natural green form. I don't want to disturb this thing. Yeah, yeah. Look at this white silk. It's really attached in there. It's not gonna it's not gonna break apart. Notice that these little horns and this part of the bottom is nice and tight over here. If you don't see it moving, do not be alarmed. It is not dead, it is healthy. Um, give it time. Just make sure that this abdomen over here is not bulged out. If it's bulged out, that means. Uh, most likely your chrysalis has been infected by a parasite, a parasitic uh, wasp or fly or some kind of insect that impregnated its, uh, impregnated its eggs into the chrysalis form. So, um, to put it back, I take my container that I have and this one is is held on by small a small twig with a uh, a hanger which I use it to hang clothes to dry and you carefully take the twig from the top gently place it down where it's like so Okay, so it's in place. It'll be very delicate. I have this saran wrap, which I poked holes with a pin. We use it to attach the pin to the poster to the wall. So I use that kind of thickness to provide a lot of little holes into these these little saran wrap. So this is to cover it. It has plenty of air. And then you put a rubber band on top of that, like this. Okay. So no vibrations. And you want to stretch it out. Make sure if, if you find out that this part over here doesn't have enough holes, put more holes in it. I put a lot of holes everywhere so you can have a good air circulation. And you take this and we'll put that on top. 
my first black swell tail uh, butterfly. Hopefully it becomes like a butterfly. We don't know what it is gonna become at this point. But all I know is that I've taken really good care of it. Um, it's been it's been five days since I got this caterpillar from my parsley plant, and so far, uh, so far I like it. You know, you, for those that you know that have this chrysalis form for a while, uh, don't be alarmed that it, it is not dead. Just uh, just give it some time for it to. Uh, to absorb all those nutrients uh, into until it becomes a uh, a black chrysalis butterfly as it comes out. But uh, I'll be back. All right, Pagan, signing off. Peace.